In this video, we will discuss day-count conventions, which are a significant complication when calculating the interest received off bonds, and also when calculating the value of interest rate futures and bond futures. For Treasury bonds, we have an actual over actual in period day count conventions. Let's consider an 8% annual bond. That means it would earn 4% between each of the two annual coupon payments. If the coupons are paid, for example, on March 1st and September 1st, we could ask how much interest will be earned between March 1st and April 1st. So approximately one month into the life of the bond. Well, March has 31 days and we have an actual over actual period. If in this year there are 365 days, not a leap year, then the amount of interest earned would be 31 divided by 365 times 0.08 or 0.006745. That would be for treasury bonds. Corporate bonds, on the other hand, have a 30 over 360 day convention. So each month is assumed to have only 30 days and the year is assumed to have only 360 days. Again, if we ask if coupons are paid on March 1st and September 1st, how much interest would be earned between March 1st and April 1st? Well, now we have a 30-day month rather than a 31-day month, and we have a 360-day year rather than a 365-day year. The quoted interest rate is still 8%, but the actual interest paid is now slightly different of 0.006666, slightly less than was paid on the Treasury bond even though they're both quoted as an 8% annual rate. Money markets and T-bills have an actual over 360 day convention, which means you can have more days in the year than are assumed under the day count convention. Once again, we will look at 8% earned in the 360 days and calculate the amount of interest you would be paid between March 1st and April 1st. So now we have a 31 days in March, the actual number of days in March, divided by a 360 day year, times again the 0.08 or the 8% annual rate, and we get now a 0.0068889% interest. So each of these have an 8% annual rate, but they pay slightly different interest rates. To look at the month for this will be the most complex, February, we could ask the question of how many days of interest will be earned between February 28th in 2023, a non-leap year, and March 1st, 2023, when the day count is actual over actual in period, well, in reality, there's only one day between February 28th and March 1st, so actual over actual gives you one day. But if the day count is 30 over 360, then we assume February has 30 days. So we would go to February 29th, February 30th, March 1st, for a total of three days under the February effect for the day count convention of 30 over 360. I hope this is a good introduction to the complications of day count conventions. We will visit them again when looking at interest rate futures. Thank you for watching this video.